About the future... A survey of 23 countries found that trust in the government is lowest in Ireland. The Dundalk Democrat wanted to know what people felt the next government could do to improve their image. Personality. As far as I see, like, it'll make no difference what government's in next, because every, every, the whole thing is being killed now by the IMF and the EU, so the, the government that's going to come into the office next month will have really bear significance on decisions that's going to be made for the one of the economy, so it's because it's all been decided by the EU and IMF. As guys, I need to try the best and clear up maybe ethics and maybe encourage a bit more transparency, because there's too much corruption going on, so... I feel it might do some little bit of improvement, but after that, they'll just go back into cronyism as, 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 as previous governments have, have gone back into. The country is, is really in a very bad state at the moment. And um, I think all the parties should get together and try and take us out of the state we're in. Well, I, I do think that like, people have very little trust in government. I suppose it's really because the more the government did abuse the trust we're given and it was hard to put that back up, you know. We're in a uh, whole state at the moment, so all that stuff about like claiming on, um, you know, claiming government expenses for everything they can get their hands on. It really has damaged the trust uh, we had them. Like, they're reducing wages right across the board, but they remain, you know, touched, you know, just crap on the hill, I suppose. But, like, they should really put themselves the same boat as us. And as, uh, as a sign of solidarity, I suppose, reduce their own wages, you know, like, like, they, they do have a void between us and them, and they should try to narrow that void by uh, making sacrifices themselves. They need to get something for the young people and not have the young people leaving the country and the graduates heading off to other countries because they won't come back. We need to get the confidence back in the people. And we need to get rid of the likes of the Senate and the hanger honours and, and cut out these big massive pensions for these government officials. You know, if you or I were to re retire in the morning, you're going to get 300,000 of a pension. I don't think so. You need to be realistic. I think the most important thing is that a new era, i.e. a new culture of government has to be introduced. And I think it's a time that whoever takes over the next time bring in reform in a whole range of areas. I think, for example, the whole uh, expenses issue has to be looked at and um, in terms of how people are paid and also uh, the time that our TDs spend uh, at work, i.e. In the, in the house of the Oireachtas. That has to be reformed. But more, the most important thing is that the culture as to how things are done has got to be changed.